on this project, what we were looking at is evaluating using less material and reduced size samples in laboratory stabilization designs for pavement renewal options. When you're sampling less material, there's less time on the road. And when there's less time on the road, there's less exposure to accidents. It used to take 100 pounds of material for a single mixture design with the old methods. The new methods use about 15 pounds. Because it's less material, you could actually sample from multiple locations. So it may be more representative of the project. We basically can get results in about four business days, actually four, four days. So normally we make these materials into samples on a Friday, and by Tuesday we're getting the results. When it comes to trying to get the mixture designs, everybody's always in a rush. So being able to reduce that test turnaround time is a huge benefit. Our technicians really like running the small sample mixture designs because they're a lot easier to perform in the lab. They get done faster, so they have a faster test turnaround time. And then also, we discovered that, yes, indeed, we can get good mixture designs using these small samples. For TechStop, what this means is as this type of approach for mixture design gets uh, moving towards implementation within the department, they again can uh, accomplish the same benefits of getting people in and out of the work zone faster. They can also realize the benefits of having the faster test turnaround time in the lab, and then they can also real realize the benefits of being able to more thoroughly screen projects to make sure they get an adequate mixture design when they oftentimes might have to consider two, maybe three different types of stabilizers. Sometimes you have different percentages of materials that you're looking at depending on project variability. We really believe this approach for small sample mixture design will allow the department to more thoroughly screen projects to get optimized mixture designs and realize the best pavement life and the lowest life cycle cost. So right now, it could the current method takes about a month. You could probably knock it out potentially in a week.